Don't give up. You just need experience. What's going on, church fam? It's Church Life bringing y'all another video. I pray y'all are having a blessed day. So it's some stuff we can't do in life until we get the experience first. For example, let's say you were going for a certain job. When you fill out the application, they ask you how much experience you have in this position. You write it down. And then that's what they use to determine on whether or not they hire you for this position. Now, that's not saying you can't do this job. It's just a requirement for you to have a certain amount of experience before they hire you. So it may take more than a few years, but don't give up. You just need experience. The point I'm trying to make is this. If you keep working hard on the stuff that you need to do in order to fill this position, eventually that door will open for you. I say that to say this. That's how it is with our dreams. If it's something that we really want to do, all we got to do is study our weaknesses. What's preventing us from getting closer to that dream until it becomes a reality? What's holding us back? See, the reason why I say if we study the stuff that's holding us back, we become stronger in those areas. That's if this is a real dream that you want to see come true. Because sometimes we give up on those dreams too soon due to our circumstances, or people might be saying we're getting too old to pursue this dream. And sometimes we might tell the dream to the wrong person. So they try to crush it because they are looking at your life and telling you stuff like, man, you've been trying to pursue after this for a long time and it seemed like you ain't making no leeway. So it just calls us to give up over the course of time. For example, music has been a long-term dream of mine. That's something that I have passion for. But I remember there was a time when people said my music was terrible. They said it would never work. They said I should just give up, throw in the towel. But I didn't listen. I kept going until eventually I became better at it. See, what I learned throughout life is this. The only thing I was lacking was experience. There was a point in time I didn't know what cadence was. I didn't know how to structure a song properly. I didn't know how to really record myself. There was a time I didn't know how to do none of these things, but it took time for me to develop the experience to do it. And then eventually I was able to do it and I became better at it. Now people love the music, but that wasn't always the case. Let's talk about making these videos and posting them on social media. There was a time I didn't know how to do these videos, but I didn't let that stop me. I kept going until I learned how to edit the videos. I found out that there was apps that I can upload the videos to and edit the videos so I can post them on social media. That wasn't the case at one point in time though. See, I had to develop wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. I had to gain the experience in order to do what I'm doing today. That's with the gospel videos and to make music. And as I become older, I realize this was the perfect time for me to actually learn how to do certain things that's attached to my dreams. Doing these videos is a part of my dream. Making gospel music for the Heavenly Father and so my brothers and sisters can listen to it, that's a part of my dream. But I had to get older in order for me to gain the experience that I have now. Don't give up on your dream just because you're getting older. Don't give up on your dream just because it feel like you're running out of time or people telling you why it won't work. And also be careful who you share your dreams to. See, one thing I learned about the Heavenly Father is when you delight yourself in Him, 
He will give you your heart desire. But here's the thing, y'all. Even if you want to spread the gospel and it just feel like it's not working at the moment, don't give up. You just need experience. And sometimes it might take more than a few years. It took me two years to get to where I'm at now. So it requires you to have patience. And sometimes the Heavenly Father has to show you how to do certain stuff. See, I know with me, I'm grateful that the Heavenly Father has patience. See, the Heavenly Father taught me slow in order for me to start understanding certain stuff that I didn't understand before. And also, we can pray for understanding, pray for wisdom, pray for knowledge. Those are things we can pray for. But let's dive a little deeper about this. So there was this man that needed help because his son was possessed by an evil spirit. The man went to the disciples at first and they couldn't cast the spirit out. They couldn't cast it out. So the man went to Lord Jesus and he told him what had happened. The disciples couldn't cast this evil spirit out. So Lord Jesus said, he'll do it. And he cast the spirit out. And the Bible went on to say in Matthew 17, verse 19 through 21. Then came the disciples to Jesus apart and said, why could not we cast him out? And Jesus said unto them, because of your unbelief, for verily I say unto you, if ye have faith as a grain of mustard seed, ye shall say unto this mountain, remove hence to yonder place and it shall remove. And nothing shall be impossible unto you. How be it? This kind go not out but by prayer and fasting. So in order for the disciples to gain this power to cast out evil spirits, Lord Jesus taught them that this type of power is developed through prayer and fasting. So in other words, they had to learn from Lord Jesus gained the experience, and then Lord Jesus taught them their weaknesses so they can start developing in that area in order to become stronger. Lord Jesus said, it's because of your unbelief. So in order to become more faithful, Lord Jesus also told them, in order to develop this power, you must pray and fast. Now check this out. They went from not being able to do it at all. They went from not being able to heal the sick, restore the sight of the blind, or cast out evil spirits to being able to do so. So check this out. In Mark 6, verse 7, it say, And he called unto him the twelve, and began to send them forth by two and two, and gave them power over unclean spirits. That's why I say today, don't give up. You just need experience. God wants to teach you how to do certain stuff that he has called you to do. And here's the beautiful part about it. When you delight yourself in the Lord, he will also give you your heart desire. Make room for your gifts. Make room for your dream. God don't want you to give up because you never know. God might want to use you in that particular area. But if you give up too soon, how will you ever find out how God can use you in a mighty way? Everything I'm doing today is a result of not giving up. I learn slower than others. It take me a little bit more time to do something. But the number one thing I know is if you don't give up eventually, that door will open for you. I'm just a product of remaining faithful and not giving up under pressure. When I don't know how to do something, let me study it. Let me continue to work on it so I can become better. That's what God is telling you today. This might be confirmation for someone that's about to give up just because they feel like they are running out of time or getting older or listening to people tell them it won't work. God is letting you know today Nothing will be impossible for you, just like that word said. If you believe that it can happen, if you believe that God can make your dream come true. See, Lord Jesus taught 
the disciples and they were anointed to do these miraculous wonders, but they couldn't do it at first until they gained the wisdom, the knowledge in these particular areas until they gained the experience. So in Matthew 6, verse 12 through 13, and they went out and preached that men should repent and they cast out many devils and anointed with oil many that were sick and healed them. See, they didn't know how to do none of this stuff at the beginning. None of us start off knowing how to do anything, y'all. It's just a matter of how much do you want to learn at the end of the day? That's what it boils down to. How much do you want to learn so that you gain the experience? And sometimes we got to go through certain stuff in life. Sometimes we got to go through failure. We got to go through failure in order to truly learn how to do stuff. See, see the disciples... They went through failure at first. And instead of giving up, you know what they did? They went to Lord Jesus. That word said, what did it say? Then came the disciples to Jesus apart and said, why could not we cast out him? And Lord Jesus said unto them, because of your unbelief. See, they went to Lord Jesus to understand why come it didn't work. Sometimes all you got to do is go to Lord Jesus and ask him, why come stuff not working in your life? Why come it just feel like you keep failing? Why come it feel like you moving in place? It just feel like you're not getting anywhere. Sometimes the reason why we fail because God want us to come to him so we can learn how to do something new, gain a new skill, develop more discipline. Sometimes that's all God want us to do is come to him so we can acquire the experience we need. That's why today I just want to let you know, it's not that you can't do it. You just got to learn more. So don't give up. You just need experience. That's all you really need. That dream can come true. I'm living proof. I'm living proof, y'all. Like I said, I learn slower than others. It takes me a little bit more time to understand something in order for me to be able to perform the task. But that's okay. It might not take you as long if you really lock in and get focused. So keep going. Keep having faith. And continue to pray without ceasing. Because it can come true. That door that closed in your face last year might open up in this new season and you just walk straight through. And before I bring this to a close, I remember, right, when my sister got her first job, she started working at the movie theaters, right? She ain't had no experience, but the guy, he gave her an opportunity because of her mannerism. He liked how she conduct herself. He liked how she spoke to him and stuff like that, right? So he gave her an opportunity. She went from working as a regular employee to becoming a supervisor. Now, the reason why she worked so hard was because of what she had to endure before we got that job. See, we were sleeping outside around this time. We were sleeping outside under this carport. And it was difficult. So sometimes, depending on your background, depending on your circumstances, depending on what you had to go through before you got an opportunity, will determine how fast you grow. See, when my sister got that opportunity, that job to becoming a supervisor, it was because before she became a supervisor, she was putting in hard work. And the reason why she was working so hard, because of what she had to endure before she got the job. We were sleeping outside. So sometimes God used our circumstances to push us beyond a certain level in order to bring us higher in due season. Sometimes we remain stuck because we don't challenge ourselves to do better. You got to challenge yourself sometimes. You might feel like you can't do this or do that. You might feel like this is too hard to accomplish. 
the more you start telling yourself why you can't do something, the less you will be able to do it. You got to reverse those words and say, I can do this. I can do that. Nothing is impossible for me because nothing is impossible for God. And like I said before, when you delight yourself in the Lord, he will give you your heart desire. Because here's the thing, our heart desire lines up to the will of God when we delight ourselves in him. And that's why God can make your dreams come true. So continue to keep God first, continue to believe and watch the miraculous happen in your life. And what's so crazy about it, when my sister got the job, for one, she actually didn't have no work experience when it comes down to working for a corporation. But she had experience with the trust in God. That's the moral of the story. When you trust God, when you continue to believe that he will continue to work on you so that you become better because God can make the impossible possible. He's the one who's opening up doors for real. And my sister became a supervisor in only a few months with no prior work experience, but she got experience trusting God. The reason why we was homeless is because we was trusting God. Until this day, God continues to open up doors. All we got to do is trust him. That's all the experience you need because God is the keeper of all knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. So if we keep our minds focused on him, he will bless us with the same wisdom, knowledge, and understanding to operate in this life. So don't give up because God will give you the experience you need. At the end of the day, he's the one that's going to open that door for you. And I'm living proof that dreams really do come true. I pray this word bless you. In Jesus' name, amen. I love y'all.